Tommy, um, can you just kind of take us through how you felt your work has gone so far uh, in this camp? And then I have another one for you after this. Yeah, um, so far I felt pretty good, you know, um, from the moment I got here. Uh, threw a bullpen, felt pretty good. And then first outing went out there and threw, threw well. I mean, since then I've been throwing pretty good. Just kind of trying to stay in a routine right now and just keeping my arm healthy. You were among the group that got tested out and all the extra inning stuff. I understand why you guys don't like it, uh, but is there anything you learned about just trying to deal in that situation because it's something that you might have to come into and maybe how you work hitters or what it's going to be like just coming in with the guy on second base? Yeah, I mean, there's going to be a lot of different situations now with it just because it's new and, I mean, we've never done this. I got a little taste of it back in 18 when I was down in AAA. I mean, I, it was really weird, to be honest. I mean, uh, it, there's going to be a whole different scenarios. Like, if we have a guy that's a speed guy, maybe you should have him bunt him over. There's all kinds of situations. But, I mean, I guess we have to take it just as if it was, I mean, the sixth or seventh inning with a runner on second. Because that could potentially be the game for us as well. So, I mean, you're just going to have to take it as it is now because there's nothing we can really do about it. Thanks, Tommy. Take the next question from George King. George, go ahead and unmute. Tommy, they're going to uh, pump fake noise into this place when you start playing. You think that'll help players? Um, personally, I think it will. Um, I know it's it definitely some kind of noise in terms of the crowd noise. Even when you're playing, it, it gives you a big adrenaline boost. And just to maybe hear that while you're trying to focus on the catcher or maybe a hitter trying to focus on the pitcher, I think it'll give a little bit of a, you know, a, a better situation than just being out there with no sound. Just you could hear people talking and probably, it's probably distracting, to be honest. And uh, I think it, it's a good idea to maybe do that. But I did see a video earlier today. It looked like the noise was a little too loud, but I'm sure they're just kind of working with it right now. Take the next question from Ron Blum. Ron, go ahead. I mean, what do you view as the different challenges for you personally from this season with the interrupted spring training, the layoff, then coming back and two months of what for this team hopes is a prep just to get in position to be at peak form in postseason? Yeah, I think uh, the, the main challenge is just we have to be ready to go right out the gate because there's only 60 games. And I mean, usually at the beginning of the season, you kind of get a feel out and you can, it's, uh, I wouldn't say not as important, but it obviously is important. But I feel like with this shortened schedule, you have to really be out to a hot start and get the upper hand on most of the teams. So I think it's going to be very important for us to be focused right out the gate. And we just got to play as we did last year, you know, just, Stay locked in all season, no matter what's out, who's out there, who we have. And I think focus is definitely our main goal going straight into this season. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Brian Hoke, you can go ahead and unmute. You can ask the next question. Hey, Tommy. I know you guys uh, played a lot of video games during the break. Uh, what are you guys doing behind the scenes right now to kind of keep busy when you're not playing ball? Um, for me, I mean, obviously, I play a lot of video games still. Um, I know a lot of guys watch TV, movies, anything they can just kind of like distract themselves with because there's not much you can do. You can't really go outside. I mean, you can go outside and take walks and stuff, but for me, it's too hot. Like, I don't feel like I'm already outside when we're at the field. So that, that's my son for the day. So mainly I'll just go home, watch TV for a bit and then play video games with some of the guys at night. Are the video game tournaments still happening then? Uh, so, I mean, I don't think, I haven't had any tournaments or anything. It's just me playing with like Brit, Monty and stuff at night, Glaber and all them on Call of Duty. Okay, cool. Thank you. Yep. James Wagner, go ahead. You're up next. Hey, Tommy. What's up? I have uh, video problems in there. Problems, <laughs> but good to see you. I hope you and the family are well. Uh, yes, one one uh, serious and one quick one. Uh, what did you do during the break? Did you go back home? Uh, how did you stay in shape? Yeah, uh, I went back home and really it was, it was kind of tough to kind of stay in shape to be honest i at first i was going to a, like a private facility 
but then uh, like the COVID cases started to get a little out of control. So I kind of didn't want to start going out and doing anything. So I tried to stay home and it was, it was tough. I mean, it, I didn't really have a motivation as, as well. And cause there was no set date in sight. So for me, it's kind of tough when there's not a, there's not a date to be prepped for. So I kind of, the working out part was tough, but I was able to keep throwing. So, I mean, for me, I was throwing into a net by myself. I mean, I was long tossing and throwing balls all over the place, but I mean, I was all just worried about keeping my arm in shape. And I think I did a good job of that.